Welcome to Anime Lore Unveiled, where we uncover the hidden gems of storytelling in your favorite anime. In today's episode, we're sailing into the vast and turbulent seas of One Piece, a world where swords aren't just weapons, but living, breathing characters. They are symbols of honor, embodiments of spirits, and vessels of fascinating stories that echo throughout the ages. Our destination, the legendary swords that shape the narrative of this epic tale. These aren't just chunks of metal sharpened to a deadly edge. They're characters in their own right, with origins and tales that intertwine with the fates of those who dare to wield them. So buckle up, fellow lore seekers, as we delve into the lore of the legendary swords, the Kitetsu and Wado Ichimonji. Prepare to embark on a journey where swords are more than just tools of battle. They're epic poems etched in steel waiting for their tales to be told. Let's set sail and explore the world of One Piece like never before. Welcome aboard and enjoy the ride. In the heart of a raging storm, two warriors stand tall, their legendary swords clashing with a thunderous roar. One wields the cursed Kitetsu, the other the noble Wado Ichimonji. In the vast and tumultuous world of One Piece, swords are far more than mere weapons. They are symbols of honor, embodiments of spirits and vessels of stories that echo throughout the ages. Among these, the legendary swords hold a unique place. They're not just tools of battle, but epic poems etched in steel. Today we delve into the lore of two such legendary blades, the Kitetsu and Wado Ichimonji. These aren't just chunks of metal sharpened to a deadly edge. No, they're characters in their own right, with origins and tales that intertwine with the fates of those who dare to wield them. The Kitetsu Swords, a trio of cursed blades, each with a thirst for blood. Their reputation is as chilling as the cold steel from which they are forged. They're said to bring death to all who wield them, yet their allure proves irresistible to many a brave warrior. Their first bearer, cursed by fate or perhaps by the swords themselves, is a tale as intriguing as the swords. Then we have the Wado Ichimonji, a sword of a different ilk. Noble, serene and pure, it's a blade that speaks of unwavering resolve and unyielding spirit. Its tale begins with a young man's pledge, a promise made under the soft glow of the moon, to become the world's greatest swordsman. This sword isn't just a weapon, it's a testament to a dream that refuses to die. These swords are not just inanimate objects, they're dynamic, they evolve, and they carry with them the weight of the past, the pulse of the present, and the promise of the future. They're intertwined with the lives of the characters who wield them, becoming an integral part of their journey. Thus, the stage was set for a saga of legendary swords, each with a tale as unique as the warriors who wield them. And as we journey alongside these warriors, we'll come to understand that in the world of One Piece, a sword isn't just a sword, it's a legend waiting to unfold. Born of a dangerous lineage, the Kitetsu swords are shrouded in mystery and bloodshed. These legendary blades, steeped in lore and intrigue, have etched their mark on the One Piece universe, shaping the destinies of those who dare to wield them. The Kitetsu swords, a trio of cursed blades, are the creation of the legendary swordsmith, Kitetsu. Each sword carries a daunting reputation, a reflection of their creator's audacious spirit. The swords are known not just for their formidable power, but also for the infamous curse that haunts them, promising misfortune and death to their wielders. First, we meet the Shodai Kitetsu, the oldest and most powerful of the three. This sword, a testament to Kitetsu's genius, is known for its remarkable strength and precision. However, its true power lies in its curse, a chilling embodiment of the swordsmith's rebellious spirit. The Shodai Kitetsu, a blade that echoes with the whispers of the dead, has yet to find a master in the series, its destiny waiting to be unfurled. Next in line is the Nidai Kitetsu, a blade that strikes a balance between power and curse. We see this sword in the hands of the Straw Hat Pirate's swordsman, Roronoa Zoro. The Nidai Kitetsu, despite its ominous reputation, has found a worthy wielder in Zoro, a man whose fearless spirit rivals the sword's own. With each swing, Zoro and the Nidai Kitetsu write a new chapter in the saga of the Cursed Swords, their fates intertwined in a dance of power and peril. 
The youngest of the trio, the Sandai Kitetsu, is no less formidable. Despite being the weakest among its siblings, the Sandai Kitetsu boasts a sharpness that can cut through steel. This sword, too, has found its way to Zoro, its curse seemingly powerless against the swordsman's indomitable will. Together, they cut through the chaos of the battlefield, their story a testament to the bond between warrior and weapon. The Kitetsu swords are more than just weapons. They are characters in their own right, their stories woven into the fabric of the One Piece narrative. They are the embodiment of the series' exploration of power, destiny, and the human spirit. Each sword carries a piece of the One Piece world's history. Their curses a reminder of the cost of power and the consequences of hubris. With their deadly curses and formidable power, the Kitetsu swords stand as a testament to the rich and complex world of One Piece. They are not merely tools of battle, but catalysts of change. Their stories a reflection of the series' intricate storytelling and world-building. The Kitetsu swords, with their deadly curse, continue to shape the destinies of those brave or foolish enough to wield them. As we journey through the One Piece universe, we are left to wonder, who will be the next to take up these cursed blades, and what destinies will they carve? In contrast to the darkness of the Kitetsu, shines the Wado Ichimonji, a sword of honor and loyalty. A stark contrast to the cursed blades, the Wado Ichimonji is a beacon of purity and determination. This legendary sword is intimately tied to the journey of our protagonist, Monkey D. Luffy, though it isn't he who wields it, but his first mate, Roronoa Zoro. The Wado Ichimonji is more than just a weapon in Zoro's arsenal. It represents a bond, a promise, and an unwavering resolve. This sword was once the possession of Quina, Zoro's childhood friend and rival. Their shared dream, their mutual goal to become the world's greatest swordsman, is symbolically imbued in this blade. Upon Quina's untimely death, Zoro inherits the Wado Ichimonji, carrying their shared dream forward as he ventures into the seas. But what makes the Wado Ichimonji so special? It's a masterpiece crafted by the legendary swordsmith Shimotsuki Kozaburo and is classified as one of the 21 great grade swords. Its pure white blade is a reflection of its wielder's unyielding spirit unwavering in the face of adversity. It's a testament to Zoro's loyalty to his promise and his devotion to his captain. The sword's abilities are as impressive as its heritage. Zoro has utilized the Wado Ichimonji to perform some of his most powerful techniques, such as the One Sword Style EI Lion Song. This move is a perfect illustration of the sword's potential, showcasing its sharpness and Zoro's mastery over it. The Wado Ichimonji under Zoro's control is a force to be reckoned with. This sword isn't merely a tool for battle, but a narrative device that brings depth to Zoro's character. It's a symbol of the burdens he carries, the promises he's made, and the lengths he'll go to fulfill them. The Wado Ichimonji is a physical representation of Zoro's journey, his struggles, and his unwavering resolve. The Wado Ichimonji's pure white blade is significant as well, White is often associated with purity, innocence, and peace. In the case of the Wado Ichimonji, it represents the purity of Zoro's resolve and the innocence of his promise to Quina. But it's also a symbol of peace, a peace Zoro seeks by fulfilling his promise and achieving his dream. In the grand narrative of One Piece, the Wado Ichimonji isn't just a sword. It's a character in its own right, with a backstory, a purpose, and a significant role to play. It's a symbol of the bonds that form us, the promises that drive us, and the dreams that guide us. It's a testament to the power of friendship, loyalty, and determination. As a symbol of unyielding resolve, the Wado Ichimonji stands as a testament to the bonds that transcend time and challenge. The Wado Ichimonji is a reminder that even in a world filled with danger and uncertainty, honor, loyalty, and the strength of our bonds can guide us forward. It's a beacon of hope in the tumultuous sea of One Piece's narrative. From the land of samurais comes the Shusui, a sword that carries the weight of a nation's pride. Emerging from the heart of Wano country, a place deeply steeped in samurai lore, the Shusui is more than just a sword. It's a symbol of honor, 
a testament to a warrior's strength and a beacon of a nation's dignity. The Shusui was once the pride of Ryuma, a legendary samurai whose feats are whispered with reverence even today. A hero of Wano country, Ryuma's strength and honor were immortalized in the blade of Shusui. The sword, with its distinctive black blade, is a testament to his skill, a symbol of his power, and a reminder of his legacy. Today, the Shusui has found a new owner, a pirate named Roronoa Zoro. A swordsman of exceptional skill and unyielding determination, Zoro wields the Shusui with the same respect and honor that Ryuma once did. The sword, in turn, grants him extraordinary power, its black blade slicing through the air with a force that is nothing short of breathtaking. But the Shusui is not just a tool of battle. It's a storied weapon, its black blade etched with tales of valor and honor. Every swing, every clash, every victory is a continuation of the legacy that Ryuma left behind. The Shusui is a storyteller, its tales woven in the heat of battle and whispered in the quiet aftermath. Yet the Shusui is not without controversy. To some it is a stolen relic, a symbol of Wano's pride taken by an outsider. To others, it is a symbol of strength, wielded by a man who honors its legacy. The controversy surrounding the Shusui only adds to its allure, its story a fascinating blend of honor, strength, and contention. The Shusui, a symbol of honor and strength, remains a contentious beacon in the turbulent world of One Piece. As we delve deeper into the lore of these legendary swords, we find that they are more than just weapons. They are symbols, storytellers, and repositories of history each with a story as captivating and complex as the world they inhabit. In the world of One Piece, swords are more than mere weapons. They are storytellers, guardians of history, and carriers of legacy. They stand as silent witnesses to the unfolding saga, each a piece of a grand puzzle that weaves together the intricate tapestry of this fantastical universe. These legendary blades are not mere tools of battle. They are extensions of their wielders, mirroring their personalities, reflecting their ambitions, and bearing the weight of their dreams. The Kitetsu swords, for instance, are as wild and unpredictable as their users, their cursed blades echoing the tumultuous paths tread by those brave or perhaps foolhardy enough to wield them. The Wado Ichimonji, on the other hand, is a testament to unyielding resolve. It carries the weight of a promise made under moonlight, a vow to become the world's greatest swordsman. In its gleaming blade, we see the unwavering spirit of its wielder, etching his journey towards greatness with every swing. Then there's the Shusui, a sword steeped in the pride and honor of a warrior nation. Its blackened blade is a symbol of strength and resilience, a reflection of the unyielding spirit of the samurai who once wielded it. To bear this sword is to carry the legacy of a nation on one's shoulders, a responsibility that shapes and guides its current wielder on his journey. But it's not just the legendary blades that tell stories. Even the humblest of swords can narrate tales of courage and determination. Each scar, each nick on the blade, is a testament to the battles fought, the challenges overcome. These are the stories etched in steel, stories that serve as the beating heart of the One Piece universe. In their silence, these swords speak volumes, telling tales of valor sacrifice, and destiny. So, as we journey alongside these characters, let's not forget to lend an ear to these silent storytellers, for they hold the keys to understanding the deeper layers of this intricate tale. From the cursed Kitetsu to the noble Wado Ichimonji and the iconic Shusui, the legendary swords of One Piece are characters in their own right. Let's take a moment to revisit our adventure through the world of One Piece and its legendary swords. As we've seen, these swords are not mere weapons, but intricate pieces of the narrative puzzle that creator Eiichiro Oda has masterfully crafted. They play roles that extend far beyond the battlefield, shaping the identities of the characters who wield them and influencing the course of the story. We began with the Kitetsu swords, a trio of cursed blades that have brought both fortune and misfortune to their owners. Their story is one of risk and reward, a testament to the courage of those who dare to wield them 
despite their ominous reputation. These swords serve as reminders of the perilous world that our characters navigate, a world where danger and opportunity often go hand in hand. Next, we turned our attention to Wado Ichimonji, the noble sword that carries the weight of a solemn promise. It's more than a weapon to its wielder, Roronoa Zoro. It's a symbol of his unbreakable bond with his childhood friend and his unwavering resolve to fulfill his dream. Through Wado Ichimonji, we see how a sword can reflect a character's deepest motivations and values, adding layers of depth to their personality. Then, we explored the story of Shusui, the legendary blade that is as much a part of Wano country's history as its samurai. As the sword of the heroic Ryuma and later Zoro, Shusui embodies the spirit of the warrior, standing as a symbol of honor, strength, and loyalty. It's a testament to the rich cultural heritage of Wano and the enduring legacy of its heroes. Finally, we discussed the broader role of swords as storytellers in One Piece, how they carry the weight of history, embodying the triumphs and tragedies of their past owners, how they serve as symbols of power, identity, and aspiration, how they create connections between characters, forging bonds of friendship, rivalry, and mentorship. As we look to the future of One Piece, it's clear that these legendary swords will continue to play a pivotal role. They will guide our characters, shape their destinies, and influence the unfolding narrative. They will continue to embody the spirit of the series, reflecting its themes of adventure, friendship, and the pursuit of dreams. In the world of One Piece, swords are more than just tools of battle. They are powerful symbols, carriers of history, and catalysts for change. They are characters in their own right, their stories intertwined with those of the heroes who wield them. As we journey alongside these legendary blades, we delve deeper into the heart of One Piece, a world where swords are not just tools of battle, but powerful symbols of a rich and captivating saga. Before we wrap up this epic journey through the world of One Piece and its legendary swords, we have an invitation for you. If you've enjoyed this exploration of the intricate lore that shapes this captivating saga, and if you're as passionate about anime as we are, we'd love for you to become part of our community. So why not subscribe to Anime Lore Unveiled? By doing so, you'll not only be supporting us, but you'll also be the first to know about our new videos. We delve into the fascinating worlds of various anime, unearthing hidden gems of lore, dissecting character arcs, and diving deep into the narratives that make these series so beloved. Whether you're a seasoned anime fan or a curious newcomer, there's something for everyone here at Anime Lore Unveiled. So come join us in our journey through the vibrant, diverse, and endlessly fascinating world of anime. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and become part of a community where lore is unveiled and stories come to life. Until next time, keep exploring, keep dreaming, and remember, in the world of anime, there's always more to the story.